So uh, I'm gonna talk about the asterisk, but before that, uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, the options that we were seeing, for example, in LS. Um, the, what's happening here right now? Does anybody know what is what's happening? In LS or so, like in general, like what 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 are you what are you trying to do, like in here? You're running a no. program LS with the option. You're just passing well, an argument to LS. Okay. So, if I want to, uh, so I have. Oops, I don't so if I want to LS. Is that a way to do that? Yeah. If SF is the directory, and I want to get that, does that work? No. 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 Okay. So what can I do to make that work? You mean that? So I want to list uh, what is inside this directory. Um, yeah. But I don't think it's a directory. <laughs> So let's assume we're inside the directory already. Uh, so if I want to yeah, do this, yeah, exactly. yeah, you can just get inside ls and the directory and you'll see the content, right? Mm -hmm. That's what Steven's trying to do. You have to escape the dash. Let's try that. So if I do but, that. But when you do hyphen, it's it affecting his option. Okay, let's just escape it. Escape it. Yeah. No. So what happened there? Yeah. Okay, so we're back here. So, any other ideas? Did you run this code? The, the percent code? Oh, the dash, one dash. Right now, without anything. Yeah, just forward. Just, just like that? Yeah. So it's exactly the same result. Can you do forward slash? So, do you say an ls forward slash? Dash and stuff. Dash and stuff. Is that it? Okay. No, don't you have to do LS dash dash? LS space dash dash SF? So LS dash 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 SF? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because it's a different thing. How about LS forward slash backslash dash SF? So LS forward slash forward slash backslash backslash dash SF. Dash SF. Okay. So this option didn't work. Do uh, you guys know why? We, we talked about uh, before how the um, dash dash option um, ls finds that when it has a dash as in as an option, they uh, it will stop considering any other options after that. Okay. So the other dash won't be counted as a special character. Won't be counted. Won't, yeah. Let me, I'm just gonna go ahead and type it one more time. So it's. Yeah, so what's also important to understand is why the ls backslash dash sf doesn't work in this case. Can somebody tell me why? Yeah, you want to? Is it because they're capital S and F? So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna jump into the next <coughs> one, that's kind of this right here. Uh, so basically what we have here is we're telling, so we have ls and then we have dash dash cash. Let's finish with this and then we go through every... Yeah, I'm going to let's, remember, let's remember this for later. Why doesn't it work with the question of the Okay, 
So, bash is gonna read this right here, and as a, I guess, default, you can call it, uh, is always gonna wait for a program to be first. So in this case, we're gonna try to do ls. So a get is gonna get passed, or it's just gonna interpret as ls. Now, the, thing, the next thing it's gonna read is gonna be what? We have, okay, so we have this space right here, which is a special character. Okay, so we have the space right there. So after that, um, bash goes in here and it reads this one first. And um, is that a special character for bash? Anybody know? Not for bash. Not for bash? So, okay, so it is not a special for bash. Um, goes to the next one, which is not the same thing. Bash interpret, uh, interprets it the same way, so it's not a special character. Uh, for bash. Net, then we go to the next one, same thing. Uh, yeah, space, 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 space right there. <laughs> the I. Uh, and then we do have the dash, and then is the S or the F any special characters for bash? No. Yeah, okay. So we go right there. So this right here is what bash um, is passing through. So it is, is what bash is understanding right now. So now the next uh, job of bash is gonna be execute this right here, ls. So now we are inside ls, and ls is trying to read this files right, or this characters right here. So what does the first, uh, this first dash do to ls? Well, it's doing yeah. two arguments, not one. Yeah, yeah sorry, two yeah. things, yeah. Two arguments. So what does this uh, first dash do to ls? So what, what is trying to ls do with this first dash? What's it expecting? An option. Oh, an, option. Option. an option, okay. So we would expect an option. What about this one right here? What does that do? No option. Okay, so it says that it's the end of options. What's that? It says that it's the end of the options. There, that's correct. So basically. That's, that's an option which says it's the end of the options. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Of all the options. So the end option, option. Everything after that point is passed. So this uh, bash itself in the bash itself in this context after another dash is an option. Okay. It's not a special character. Oh. Right. The first one is a special character. Saying the next one is not a special character. It's a list of options. And in this case, it's only dash. And so in this case, the second dash is an option and not a special character. And it's uh, an option for ls, not for bash. And the first dash is an option for ls, not for bash. That's why if you backslash it in the bash, since it's not a special character for bash, it doesn't do anything mm -hmm. at the level of bash. Of bash. So as you said, this is gonna be, we're gonna end our options with this right here. So it's asking for an option or it's waiting for an option and this is telling you no more options after that. So what do we have after this? Or, or, uh, just the text of dash SF. Yeah, so then we are left with just this right here which is, is any of this special anymore? No. Why? Because that second dash ended it. There you go. So that's why when we come back, this ls is just gonna return SF. That's it for that part, is that correct? Yeah, okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and jump to this example right here. Let me just clear this real quick. Okay, so can somebody tell me what is uh, happening here? Do you want to go, Dan? Do you want to draw it? No. <laughs> okay, so um, we have one more time. Nate wants to go. Yeah. Who wants to go? Oh, right. oh, there you go. So, do uh, you want me to walk through the whole program? The, uh, yeah. Well, um, okay. I can draw it. So well, basically, um, well, go ahead and write it all out. Or write the next forward slash. When it gets to the forward slash, oh, there should be a space there, but. When it gets to the forward slash, uh, it uh, ls is going to interpret that and uh, as a directory. Oh, oh, wait, wait. First, okay. what does bash do, and then what does okay, that? yeah. So bash uh, bash will take the forward slash as just a uh, uh, special character. Is the forward slash a special character? I think it's just. Yeah, it's just a character. Okay, yeah, it's just a character. Yeah. Okay. And then it will take the uh, the dash, or then it goes to the uh, go to the backslash. So write the backslash. Okay, so it goes to the backslash. 
<laughs> um, and that, so Bash, Bash reads that as to, to, to disregard the next character as any special character. Okay, so uh, this is going to be special character for Bash then? It's, well that's, Bash is going to read that okay. and, uh, and, and it will disregard the next character as any sort of special character. It will okay. print it as just a normal character. So it will disregard this yes. only? Yeah, it, it won't interpret that as a special character. Which branch doesn't recognize it as a special character? Yeah. Effectively, I, I don't think it would make any difference, actually, for, as far as Bash, because Bash wouldn't see that Dash as a special character yeah. anyway. Right. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, then right in our original... But, but we still haven't gotten to LS anyway, so... Yeah. So, right now, let's see what uh, LS... Uh, so, what Bash is passing through... Uh, so, we are... Yeah. Okay, and so this is what it's being passed on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, do you know? So now we are uh, exit. We're gonna execute it last right here. So and we have how many arguments? One. 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 Uh, and then uh, what's gonna happen? Next? So it, it it takes that argument and it interprets it as a directory. Yeah. Uh, but since it begins with the slash, it will interpret it as an absolute directory, which means from root, instead of your current directory, which would be a relative path. And there is no SF directory from your root directory. There only is from, uh, where is it? From, I think you put it in your home directory. Yeah, yeah it's home directory. Yeah. yeah. So basically what's happening is LS is trying to read a bound on uh, Root directory and it doesn't exist, so that's the whole thing. Because this is being passed on, and then there's this file doesn't exist there, so that is what it says that there's not a yeah, right here. There's not such file directory because we're trying to go to root and that doesn't exist there. Any questions? Um, is it Maybe because LS doesn't recognize any special characters after there is no ordinary character. Mm -hmm. So if you were to do LS A dash S, the dash would not like, factor in as special because there's an mm -hmm. A in front of it. Yeah. And you can put a dash in the middle of a file name. Yeah. 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 Why not? <coughs> it's only a problem. Well, it's only an option when it's the first character, right? Yeah. So what if we did a dot dash S? Uh, uh, dot dot slash dash. <laughs> dot, dot, yeah, dot slash dash. So, so, so what are we dot, trying? Uh, ls dot forward slash dash capital S. I feel good about this. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Oh, uh, oh, hold on. S -O. S -O. S -O. Uh, Uh, the dot tells you to start where you are, and the forward <coughs> slash is telling you is telling ls that this is a directory with the name dash sf. What would happen if you were to do ls dot dash sf? Okay. Ls dash dot sf dot dash sf. Dash, dash, dash. Yeah. Why does it work? Is it that's a file. And so then it would have to be a sub file. Well, no, it's file folder. or directory. I think, I think the forward slash isn't saying to look for a directory. It's just saying to look within whatever exactly. comes before it. Yes. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. If uh, dash sf was a file, this would still be correct. It was just yeah. saying, like, from the current place. Look inside. Everybody understand those two last lines? Yeah. yeah. Why it works for the first one and why it doesn't work for the second one? Yeah. Should I write it in? Okay. So, so by default, LS is looking for a directory or a file. Okay. So it's going to look in the file system 
what you pass to him as an argument. So in this case, you're gonna decompose that and say, okay, uh, I want to look inside the current directory or this file name. Okay, and in the current directory, you have this file name, so it works. Okay? And in this case, you're telling him, assume there's no slash, it's not a directory, right? You're telling him to look for this file. And this file with the dot, sign with the dot, does not exist. Are we just taking, like, um, IP address and IP address? So when said that this uh, source file, uh, did that source slash or yeah. that slash? Yeah. That's right. Um, the for slash just tells bash to look in the thing before it and not, um, not it's not saying like, oh, this is the directory, it's just saying. So in the file system, like <coughs> every uh, directory is separated by a slash. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I think on the Windows it's a backslash. On the Unix it's a slash. So on the Windows you have files like this, for instance. This is the path to this is the absolute path of kern.dlm in the file system of Windows. And the root is C column backslash. In Unix, the root of an absolute path is slash. And then bash for instance is in slash bin directory. So that's his absolute path. Okay, now here we're talking about relative relative path. So in the current directory, I want this. Okay, but really what's the complete path of that? Maybe an, another way of, of putting it that might make it a little bit clearer is that if, if you write just dot dash sf, and, it's, and then replace the, replace the dot with the actual name of the directory, what you would have is something like, like if it were your home directory, which is, we can use a tilde to represent that, right? Then it would just be a tilde dash sf, which that doesn't make any sense, right? You wouldn't, no, okay, that's not helping, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> can you just PWD, can you tell us where we are? directory name and then dash sf yeah it's looking at it as dot a file like no because ls, ls doesn't look at files so i guess i would automatically think of it as directory no it does it, it looks at files yeah. ls looks at files mm -hmm. so then wouldn't it just see it as a file ending in the fat like the file type dash sf which is an auxiliary type of file oh file type yeah <laughs> I'm not sure I want to talk about this today. Okay, so. No, so the only so the difference here is that since there's no slash, this is not interpreted. The dot is not interpreted as a as a directory because there's no slash. Okay. If you do ls, so what happens if you do ls? if you do this? Does it work? No. Why? Because it will say uh, uh, dash sf is a directory. Yeah. Can you run it? But it is not. Right. No? I don't think it is. Is it a file or a directory? It's a file. No, it is. Okay. Oh, I'm fine. Okay, it's a file. It was a file. Okay, so here you're telling LS, but this is what's what's before the slash is a, is the name of the directory. When you do dot slash something, you're telling him it's the like this is a file and this is the name of the directory. And when you do dot, you don't tell anything. You don't figure out itself. Um, but you could do you know the the okay dot slash and then whatever you put there. That can also be a directory. Dot slash. 
thoughts flash and then you put a yeah. That's, uh, yes, uh, because still the uh, because Julian says this is a directory and this is a file, right? That's what confused you. So the file that can also be a directory. Yeah. Okay. yeah so okay, so I'm, I'm, yes, I'm ready here. <laughs> this is a dot. Oh, this is a this is a slash. So dot is a directory. Okay, then I'm gonna look at this. Oh, green. It ends with a slash. So this is also a directory. So I'm gonna look at inside the directory b, which is inside the directory dot. And then here there's no slash at the end, so I expect it to be a file, which can be a directory. Which can be a directory. Mm -hmm. But if there's a slash, it has to be a directory. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's talk about file extension. <laughs> what time? Do you want to talk about file extension? It's lunch time. In an hour and a half. Right? You want to eat or you want to just yeah. go? Uh, Who wants to eat? Go. go. <laughs> you have a front end project. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Gonna talk about it. All right. Take it to the break room. <laughs> I can. Okay. So file extension. Um, when you're a Mac or a PC uh, running Windows, you have name of the file .txt, which is supposed to mean that this is a text file. Why is it? Why is this important? What What does this do? To you, and what does this do at the level of the OS? Does it tell the operating system which uh, type of program to open with it? Yes, which program to open it with it. Yeah. So for you, it's it's really nice because right away you're gonna see it's a text file. But maybe I can just rename it and put it like a .dot exe, and still a text file. But okay. So, but also what it does is that instead of you know going through a terminal and Okay, this is a text file, so I'm going to open it with Emacs and not Nano. <coughs> <laughs> I'm, the OS at his level will say, okay, any file which ends with TXT, I'm going to, I'm going to open it with a certain program. That's when, when you double click on a file, it runs a program that opens a file without uh, having you to ask for the specific program. So it saves you time. Okay? Not a thing. Oh. Right? It's not a thing, right? Use Emacs account. What's that? You should be using that. <laughs> no, but not. <laughs> no, no, you get it? Yeah, yeah. Everybody gets it? It's mm -hmm. on yeah. Right? It's just a way for the OS and for you to recognize. Yeah. For you, it's a, it's a way to recognize right away what's what's inside a file mm -hmm. because here, when you type ls, can you type ls? Enter. Okay. What is a file? What is a. Like, what is a directory? Yeah. What is this file containing? What is it? Is it a program? Is it a text file? Is it a PDF? You don't know, right? So if you say pizza.pdf, it gives you a clue of what it is and what program to open it with. Okay? Um, but you don't need really extension. It's just for the OS and for you. And so if you write the question was dot dash sf, this is not an extension. Should be an extension in Windows maybe, but in uh, in Linux, if you want to have hidden files that that are not uh, listed by default by ls, you start the name with that with uh, with a dot. So if you create a file and can you touch um, touch dot hello, this is just a file. It's not a hello type file. If you do ls, you will not see it. Starts with a dot. If you do dash a, then you're gonna see every file which you started with the other here. Okay. I think your you might have confused Mona. It's um, when Mason commented that you can't just uh, list a directory with a slash forward. So I'm not like, even though slash forward says it's a directory, yeah. a continuity of doc. Uh, you can't just do that. You say ls and then you write the name of the directory with slash forward. Yeah, you can. Oh. Well, we tried oh, no, no, no. Uh, so I think it was the part where if you, we were searching for I a directory. Think, uh, the part I was unclear about was whether the dash says something about the stuff that comes before it or the thing that comes after it. But like. Before. Okay, before. Okay, I'll think about it. Yeah, because when you do when you have a path like this, hello, brother, how are you? Then you know that this is a 
directory, this is a directory, this is a directory, and this is maybe a directory that's maybe that. Okay. You know that this is a directory because you have a slash after it. Okay. And you know that this is a directory because you have a okay. slash yeah, after it. Yeah, but you have to specify that it's not the specified slash. If you don't do that, then it's not going to work. Right, it depends where you are and yeah. what's the context. So here you say start to look for uh, you, how are you? From here, inside hello, inside Rona, and then you're gonna get this file. If you do it without that, it means that you start from the very beginning of the file system, and then you're gonna look for the hello directory, and then inside it, the Rona directory, and then try to find your file. I just thought you tried to do that. In both cases, um, yeah. the command works and looks for something, but it's it's looking in different places. In one case, it's looking at the beginning of your file system, and the other case, it's looking in the directory you're in. Yeah. Because so the thought told you to look inside the directory you're in. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, it's just in one case. There was no such file. Yeah. So I have a file which is in slash <coughs> hello slash world, and it's called uh, f. Okay. Now, if my work current working directory is world, so I'm inside world, I'm here. This is, if I type pwd, I'm going to see this. Okay. Then you can say look for f, because by default it's going to start at where you are. You can also say look for dash, uh, dot dash f, uh, slash f. This is going to work. But if, if from here, you're gonna say ls this whole path, it's also gonna work. But if you do slash f, then you're looking for a file which is here. So that's why it doesn't work. Yeah, so sorry if it's redundant. So there's that's only cool. two ways, either the whole path or any subdirectory within the kernel. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the direct yes. child. Then you, you have two dots, but we'll cover yeah, this later. But it's still, uh, it's okay. Yeah. Can you do ls-l? Dash dash la. Okay. Uh, okay. So you have two special directories in every directory. The first one is the current one, and the second one is a parent. So. Mm. It means that you can go. Also, you could start also with dot dot slash something, and then go up and then go down, go up, go down. Starting from the current directory, it doesn't have to be your child. And you can also use the tilde from home. So. No 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 no. No. <laughs> no don't don't mention that. One up or one down, right? Okay. Can you can you uh? Can you do that? No, just remove the terminal from here. Yeah. <coughs> so let's say in slash hello, you have another directory which is called Alberta. Okay? And your your current directory is slash hello slash home button. How can you ls the file f from here without starting with a slash? Where F is. Yeah, you know, you know it's here. But it's not the same. Uh, it's under world, not yes. the home button. So. Yes, that's correct. So since you're here, you could do. You know you're here, and so you have to go one directory backward, and then go to world, and then you click F, right? So you could do ls dot dot, which is my parent directory. So now it's hello, and then I go to world. And then I go to F. Okay? You understand why that, that works? Yeah. And then you can also just do ls in the full path from the absolute directory yeah. starting from the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So like, yeah. So either the full path or the exact path to where you are now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That makes sense. And the full path is going to work like all the time, anywhere you are. 
Are you understand why? Okay. Good. Uh, if you're worried about the front end project today, I think I'm going to extend it by a day. It's like most of the day won't be today. Wait. Most of the day won't be today? Well, we <laughs> spent like two hours on this. No one. Like one hour and a half. No, no one. So I think we'll start the next one after. Okay. Uh, all right. So the thing about the Thank you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know. I know that you guys that were, were starting to go like, "Oh shit! Oh shit!" So like, don't worry about it. We'll extend it by a day. So this was very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about Dash, how it works exactly, we want you to have this into your head. It's it's some somehow like not at your level yet, but if you understand everything now, it's it's great. Okay. If you don't, just think about it. Why it looks like? Because that's what's happening. And when you have like something not found or it doesn't work, try to do this exercise like. Okay, now I am bash. How do I interpret each character, and why do I pass as an argument to the program I want to run? Okay. Instead of just throwing a bunch of stuff out there so it works. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's cool. Like you do something wrong, then you try to analyze why it didn't work. This is more important. Watch out about doing this with the R the RM command because it deletes things. So trying a bunch of random things can be dangerous. <laughs> oh, then again, if it happens to you once. Yeah, you, yeah, you learned the hard way. Yeah, you should try to run this command oh. without escaping it. <laughs> but you so made backups. Oh, yeah. And I stored them in a special folder. So Yeah, this is a shell command. Just try to run that. What happened? 